Anyone who has used crutches knows they're a real pain. I've been on and off of crutches for the last 10 years. And for the last 10 years, Robin Westerlund has found it nearly impossible to carry things or do simple daily activities we all take for granted. Yeah, Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with a new product that could be a game changer for a lot of people who use crutches, Frank? Yeah, they sure are. You know, this here's a reason that everyone should pay attention to this story. Even if you've never used crutches in the past, frankly, we are all just a trip and fall away from needing them. And just like building a better mouse trap has been kind of a quest for the ages, a better crutch actually seems to be here. Starting with an ankle injury when she was only 11 years old. Um, then I was trying out for sports. Robin Westerlund of Wyandotte has had a lot of experience with crutches. I tore the cartilage and I've had eight surgeries now trying to repair it. And just like about everyone. I wasn't overly excited about them. It was really difficult to do everything on crutches. Then four months ago, she stumbled on something that piqued her curiosity. I was actually browsing online one day trying to find a knee scooter because I didn't even know this thing existed. And I was just Googling, you know, knee scooters and trying to find them. And I saw a picture of this and I clicked on it. It was this device called an iWalk. And if you've never heard of it, you're not alone. And my doctor didn't know about it. He thought it was so cool. He was taking pictures of it and stuff. Brad Hunter is a representative for iWalk who I spoke to via Skype. We don't have a huge marketing effort because we're not this huge company. The prototype for the iWalk was built by a Canadian farmer in the late 1990s. He was working on his roof and fell off the roof and he broke his ankle. A broken ankle is a big deal for a farmer. But as necessity is the mother of invention, he was inspired. When he would shave, he would uh, kneel on a stool and he found it to be very functional. And he thought, you know, what if I was to, able to make this stool stay here right under my leg? It would be way better than these crutches. So he went down into his work shed that day and made the first I walk out of wood. The first generation I walk was okay, but... About three years ago, we started working and developing on the next version. Well, we launched the iWalk 2.0 in October of last year. But the true breakout moment for the iWalk 2.0 was when Harrison Ford was recently photographed using one after he injured his leg on the set of Star Wars Episode 7. He called us and he was very interested. He's a pretty progressive guy, very mechanically inclined. And so we got him going on it over the phone. Brad from iWalk told me people are often skeptical because it seems too simple or just too good to be true. So I asked him to send me one to try out for myself. No strings attached. After receiving the box, I watched their online video, then unpacked it and assembled it in minutes. Then, with a little adjustment, I was up and walking. As long as your injury is below your knee, the eye walk should work for you, and there's no doubt it beats crutches. As I walked around campus marshes, it definitely turned heads. Kim Brady noticed it. The first time when I saw it, I thought he had uh, maybe had a prosthetic leg, you know, and then we saw his leg hanging out the back, so we went like, wow, that's kind of cool. And Kara saw the practical side. It's kind of funny looking, but as hey, long as you get where you gotta go, hey. <laughs> That's all that matters, you know? With the iWalk, I can literally do anything I want. I have yet to find something that I can't do when I'm using it. Including standing easily while riding on a whiteboard or even climbing a mountain trail. About a month after I had it, my family had gone on a trip. We were on the Blue Ridge Mountain Trail in the Appalachian Mountains. This thing is for real. People get it. They resonate with it. It works and it solves a problem and it makes people happy. Now, the iWalk is mainly available online and it costs about 150 bucks, which is actually pretty reasonable considering what crutches or a knee scooter actually costs. The key I really discovered is making sure that you're properly fitted and practicing maybe with the assistance initially of a physical therapist if you're not completely comfortable. Are there any downsides to the iWalk? Well, you know, in fairness, I only used it for a couple of hours and of course I wasn't injured, so I didn't have much in the way of pain, but I didn't really find any downside except maybe compared to regular crutches, you feel so confident walking, you might be prone to going a little faster than you normally would. 